Felony murder is an interesting topic on the California bar exam because there's so many different types of calls of question that can potentially arise. So let's take a look for a moment and go through the different types of calls of question that can potentially come up. On the board over here, we have first, can Dan, the defendant, be convicted of felony murder in the first or second? Felony murder in the first or second. Usually applicants have a rather hard time writing for this because they don't really know, do I have to go into a full-blown felony murder, um, all the elements of it two times? So I'm gonna teach you how to approach that. What crimes, if any, can Dan be convicted of? You'd have to spot there that felony murder is the issue. Can Dan be charged with murder? Again, you'd have to spot that felony murder is the charge of homicide you have to go into. And can Dan be charged or convicted of felony murder? Well, now you have a general felony murder question and you'd have to hit both first and second degree. So let's talk about that for a moment. Felony murder is a jurisdiction specific charge, meaning that some jurisdictions hold felony murder to be in the first and some jurisdictions hold felony murder to be in the second. So it really depends on the state that you live in. So a lot of applicants will say, Shauna, is felony murder in the first? Is it a first degree charge or a second degree charge? Again, based on what I just said, it depends on the jurisdiction that you're in. So how do you approach that on an essay? Well, before I get into how to approach all four types of potential calls, and again, this may not be exactly how you see the call, but this is usually what the call will look like, the most common tested, uh, or excuse me, the most common frame types of questions for felony murder. Um, before we do that, I wanna go into the, what we call the limitations of the felony murder rule. I want you to just call them the elements to the felony murder rule. So they're always gonna remain the same. Let me just grab my approach. So the first thing that you need is the defendant guilty of the underlying felony. Don't take this element for granted. You have to establish that the defendant would actually be able to be found guilty of the underlying felony. If we go to your approach, first establish that the felony was inherently dangerous. In most jurisdictions, the enumerated dangerous felonies are, and you have to know them, bark is a great mnemonic to know for this, burglary, arson, rape, robbery, mayhem, and kidnapping. Second, state what the elements for that felony are and analyze whether the defendant is guilty of the under, underlying felony based on whether or not those elements have been met. So if you have time, I think a full-blown IRAC of each element of the felony would be a great way to maximize your points. But if you're pressed for time, maybe you have three or four more crimes to go into, just do a heading, let's say it's robbery, Give the rule for robbery and give a summation in your analysis hitting all the potential issues that need to be proven. 